Today I'm going to find out if two most durable combat tourniquets in the world will still work after meeting with me and my colleague. We are going to use an axe, a baseball bat and a tank. Uh, yeah, a small tank. My name is Alex Hepner and this is Group Call. As all those internet comparative tests are a bit tricky, I will run mine together with an experienced British Army clinician who, in the last two decades, has been deployed to some of the most violent conflicts around the world. Unfortunately, his identity cannot be revealed, but I can genuinely disclose no conflict of interest between us two and the manufacturers of tested products. Our two victims will be Rapid Stop by Areo Healthcare and Strengthened Individual Combat Hybrid Tourniquet by Siege. Siege is a manufactured in Ukraine 1.5 inch wine tourniquet with an aluminium windlass and fixing triangle, designed to limp size the circumference from 2 to 16 inches. Due to the, its durability, it's often called the toughest tourniquet ever. We'll see. Rapid Stop is also 1.5 inch tourniquet, but instead of a windlass lock, it uses a ratchet, designed to limp size the circumference from 7 to 33 inches. Because of its quick fixing system, users call it fastest to occlusion, but manufacturer also rocks about its amazing tensile strength. The test will be simple, my army medic will put both tourniquets on my limbs and we will measure the time required for the application and check its effectiveness with a handheld Doppler device. But before that, we will treat them very, very badly. This jolly warm up, now it's the time for a proper application test. Because major trauma rarely happens in the open space, we conducted our test inside of the tank. According to this study, depending on the type and severity of the injury, an adult person has approximately 20 to 180 seconds before they will lose their consciousness. Therefore, a quick and easy application of a tourniquet is most yep. important. You can stop. Thank you. Okay, stop. In our test, both products achieved similar results. But there is more to the game. This study points out how the buckle design and strap fabric affect the conversion of pulling force to tourniquet strap pressure. We tested two completely different systems and we can admit that subjectively, Siege was better than its competitor. And as we speak about circumferential pressure required to occlude arterial blood flow, there is a myth that the tourniquet is not properly applied if your patient doesn't scream in pain. This study bursts this myth and demonstrates that the highest pain score amongst the participants was 4. Therefore, it's more important to check bleeding rather than pain itself. And with that being said, Rapid Stop effectively stopped my pulse, causing pain scot 2, while Siege was effective when pain was 4. Neither Rapid Stop or Siege are recommended by the Committee on Tactical Combat Casualty Care. On the other hand, at the moment only 8 tourniquets are on the list of recommendations. Is it important to have recommendations from CO-TCCC? Well, you tell me. On the one hand, this committee is endorsed by the American College of Surgeons and the National Association of ENTs and comprises the trauma surgeons and combat medics. So, well, real experts. On the other hand, it seems that the process of getting the recommendation is almost impossible for the majority of products, so... Whichever product you will decide to use, please remember that the tourniquet is only the part of the catastrophic hemorrhage management. Applying the tourniquet does not finish the process of care. You still need to address as many elements of diamond of death, hypothermia, coagulopathy, hypoglycemia and acidosis, as you can. And don't forget to pre-alert as activation of trauma team is equally as important as all those things you do in field. There's a really good article about it, I will leave the link uh, in the description to this video. And speaking of the videos, there is more group call vids waiting for you uh, to see, so go and watch them now. My name is Alex Hepner and this was Group Call.